Hey guys, this video is for kindergarten and first grade leaders for August week two. So our new theme for the month is the hunt. Wisdom is worth searching for and our life app for the whole month is wisdom. Finding out what you should do and doing it. So last week we learned about how Jesus stayed in the temple to grow in wisdom and our bottom line was if you want to be wise, search for wisdom. And this week our story um, is about Proverbs 22.3. Wise people see danger, and our bottom line is, if you want to be wise, look before you leap. Our memory verse for this month is, if any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. James 1, 5. So heading over to our leader guide, um, super important, especially as we're getting ready to kick off the new year, just on the weeks that you are serving, please make sure that you're here at 8.30 and 10.30. It's so important. We are going to start huddling up right after 8.30 and 10.30 in every classroom just to pray. Um, so make sure that you're here so that with your team, um, you can be praying for the kids that you're going to be serving in the morning. Um, this week specifically, just asking God to help see, um, help kids see the need for using self-control. Um, and also pray that kids would just start to develop, to develop discernment about things that could be dangerous or unwise to do, especially as they're heading back to school with lots of peer pressure around them. So when kids start to roll in as they come to your group, just be sure you know everybody's name, welcome them, and ask them about their week. Um, most schools are starting next week, so you can be asking them if they're excited, do they know their teacher, do they have friends in their class. Um, make sure any first-time guests feel very welcomed and included, and then you've got your games out on your carpet. When service starts at 9 and 11, the first activity you're going to do is called Leaping Lizards. So you're going to have some hula hoops out on your floor, and you're going to lead kids in a real-life game of Frogger. So the hula hoops are going to be the lily pads that are going to be all in your room. And we're going to, um, you'll space out the hula hoops as much as you would like, as much as allows for our classroom. And then you'll have kids hop around the environment like frogs. And when you call out car or truck or motorcycle, the kids have to quickly hop onto one of the lily pads for safety. Um, so you can vary the pace when you call that out. Um, you can call it out quickly or drag it out slowly. You can call it some fake words in between just to be funny. And when to close that activity down, you'll just say, you guys did a great job making sure you kept your little froggy body safe from the cars and trucks and motorcycles. Well, today in large group, we're going to hear about a way that we can keep ourselves safe from trouble. So then you'll head down to a large group. Um, thank you so much for just sitting with your groups and helping them to worship and listen to the story, especially our kindergarten and first graders, um, really just dancing with them and getting them involved. That's so great. So thank you guys for doing that. When you get back to your small group, such a large group, you're going to do an activity called Look Before You Leap. So um, you have the page for this on the front of your folder. So it has some little situations on it. Um, got, kids will line up at one end of your room and you're going to ask kids, do you guys know what it means to look before you leap? And just kind of explain that. And then you'll read a scenario from the Look Before You Leap page. And if the child in the scenario looked before they leapt or they showed wisdom, then as a group, the kids will leap forward the amount of times that you tell them to. If they didn't show wisdom or they didn't look before they leap, leapt, um, the kids will jump backwards. And you'll just close this activity down by saying, so guys, God loves you. And because God loves you, he wants you to make the wise choice. And one way we can make the wise choice is to look before you leap. What do you think that means? Yeah, it means to stop and think before you do something. So maybe tell about a time that you looked before you leapt and how that choice, um, how you learn more about God and how it helped you show others what God is like. So if you're tempted to disobey your mom or dad, look before you leap. Stop and think what God would want you to do. If you and your friends are having an argument, look before you leap. Stop and think how God would want you to treat your friend. When you're tempted to tell a lie or cheat, look before you leap. Remember, if you want to be wise, look before you leap. So then for our memory verse activity, um, you are going to have toilet paper tubes that are stapled together with some green construction paper to go around them. So, well, the kids will, I believe, glue the green construction paper um, around the tubes. And then you have green and blue dot stickers that they could put on their green paper. And they'll also glue little froggy eyes to the front of their tubes. And um, so first you'll look up the memory verse, practice saying it out loud with emotions, and then emphasize that God wants to give us wisdom because when we have wisdom, we'll not only know how to make the wise choice, but we'll know him better. So then they're going to put together their froggy eyes. So their um, toilet paper tubes will already be 
paper clip or sorry stapled together they will glue on their construction paper and decorate their binoculars with the dot, dot stickers to make them frog binoculars and then they'll glue a pair of frog eyes onto their binoculars and then finally you have a label that you'll put on there that's their wise words label it's just their memory verse and then you're just going to encourage them to take their frog binoculars home as a way to remind them to make the wise choice and look before they leave so to close that down, you'll just say, who gives us wisdom? Yeah, God gives us wisdom. And one way that we can use the wisdom God gives us is to look before we leap, to stop and think before we make a choice. So this week, let your frog binoculars remind you that if you want to be wise, look before you leap. And finally, to close down in prayer, you're going to have your kids gather around you. And then you'll just use this to lead your kiddos in prayer. And when you finish, you're going to give them each one of these plastic froggies as a reminder to look before they leap. And then they can play with their frogs until their parents come. So to close down, you'll just say, when God told King Solomon to ask for anything, what did he ask for? Yeah, he asked for wisdom. He said, give me a heart that understands, then I can rule over your people. I can tell the difference between what is right and what is wrong. Wow. Did God give Solomon what he asked for? Yeah, he gave him lots of wisdom. Just like James 1.5 tells us, if we need wisdom, we should ask God for it. So you and I aren't kings and queens, but we still need wisdom to make the right choice. So let's pray and ask God to give us the wisdom that we need. So then just close down in prayer with your group and just as parents come and they say, what's all this frog stuff about? Tell them to remind their kids, um, tell their kids to remind their parents that if they want to be wise, they need to look before they leap. That's it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for being such amazing small group leaders. I'm so grateful for all of you. Um, we just have a few more weeks before we get some new kindergartners in our Oak Bridge Kids area. So thank you guys for serving, and I'll see you on Sunday.